This is from a previously recorded live episode on YouTube. You can find it live at the FO Show 84. Thank you for listening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the FO Show live, live, live. Everybody, the most beautiful time of the year, the most wonderful time of the year. I guess it's only some of us to think that. Well, it's a lot of us to think that. But football season is coming back. This is our last weekend without competitive football. Yes, it's going to be college, you know, but still, as you can see, Behind me, both my teams are reps, San Francisco 49ers and the Ohio Bronx, the Ohio State Buckeyes. So I'm excited about this. Don't even understand. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We got a hater already because he likes the Huskies. Boo. All right. That's cool. And right, let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share. I'm gonna share this down here for anybody who want to jump on, talk they, talk they trash or whatever. I welcome it. Please, please. Come one, come all. <clears throat> no, uh, both my teams did pretty good last year. Man, we was my 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 heart was broken. By the way, my Buckeye season ended. I mean, cause the Georgia Bulldogs, they ain't no, they ain't no chumps. But man, about 10, 10 feet, 15 feet to the right. Oh, we was gonna run over them uh them uh that TCU team. We was gonna run them over. See what George did to him. And they barely got past us. Hey, everything was on a foot. On our kicker's foot. We just couldn't get it done. My 49ers, we did suffer that um that uh loss to Brock Purdy, who my boy came out of nowhere. Last pick in the draft. And he he did some some things. And I don't want to hear people talk about he, I mean being a game manager, whatever, but my boy was throwing downfield. He was throwing downfield. He was doing some things. He got injured to get uh see here we go. We got we got we got the Huskies coming up. Nobody watches them except for basketball, sorta. I think it's the, the females, anyways, ain't it? Don't nobody care about no dang on huskies. <laughs> no, but um we came uh we did. We went pretty far. We went pretty deep in uh in both the leagues. My teams did. My teams. These are my teams. Niners. Ohio State. I want to hear about your teams. I want to hear about who you who you rooting for. And 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 Jerry, Jerry. We don't care about the Huskies as a whole. So. That's all that is. Nobody cares about the Huskies. I'm talking about competitive football. That's that's not what the Huskies are. I'm, I'm I would say I'm sorry, but I'm really not. They suck really bad. So, but I want somebody to come on. Tell me about why you're delusional. If, if if your teams aren't these teams, why are you delusional that your team is going to be the one who makes it? Because I really want to know. Yeah, you didn't say nothing. Yeah, sounds misogynistic. Look, man, people, some people watch that. I mean, there's a there's a thing for everybody. So, what you say, Reggie? We got rid of our owner. We already won our Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Snyder, right? 
y'all y'all have definitely um <laughs> made some uh some strides towards getting better i'm still not too uh still not already all bought in on the commanders but you know is what it is julie O H I O, and then also you know you got hit him with the uh the bang bang for niner gang appreciate it appreciate it man i'm excited i'm so excited got uh football well we got monday night we got thursday night we got saturday for uh college and then we got sunday that's that's the majority of the week football and i love football shut up jerry yeah he just I, i'm gonna show everything that y'all say <laughs> but um I love football because, first of all, football, like the amount of scoring, like I know college could get a little out of hand, but the amount of of scoring, it's not too much scoring like basketball, NBA, it's, it's just a whole bunch of scoring. Like it's, you don't care if a team scores 50, 60, 70, because you're about to score like 80 or 90 if you're the better team, so. Julie says she is not excited whatsoever. You should be. You're gonna learn one day. But um, so then also the games, the games just just matter more. The games matter more, especially in college. In the NFL, there's a uh the mathematical way that you that you make it to the playoffs. You have to win. Your division of four teams. There's four teams, three teams. Well, there's three teams you need to have a better record than in the uh, at the end of the season. There's three. You, you the postseason you're gonna compete against the other teams, but there's three teams. College, there's a lot more teams. There's some teams that shouldn't even get excited about the year at all. But in college, that one game, that one game could could. Could can end you that just like that. And you had a successful season. Like you, you, you went 10, 11, 12, and one. And, and now you out the playoffs. You can't play in the playoffs because you lost one game. Yes. Yes, Reggie. ACC was definitely trash. And they about to do you, you, y'all, you see what they're doing with all that um that with the restructuring. You gotta uh what about four teams from Pac-12 coming over? We about to be the the big 952 instead of the Big Ten. Basically, it's gonna be two super conferences. It's gonna be the Big Ten and the SEC. They're gonna be super conferences. And then I feel like right now, I think it's a what is it, a 12, 12 team playoff? Whatever. We um I think it'd be a little bit more inclusive as far as like the conferences, those see now here's the thing about that. And this is what I want to say about the, um, the, the super conferences and going to the 12 team playoff or it's eight. I, I might misspoke, but going past the 14 playoff, it can be more inclusive to those. Some, some teams, some teams who think, Oh, we're getting left behind. Like the, the lower tier teams up in the pack 12 or in a big 12. Now y'all might just get an automatic bid. Conference champion, automatic bid. <clears throat> hey, Reggie, those games is going to be crazy. Those games, we, we cover, we cover what? Eastern, Central, there's none in Mountain. I don't believe there's any teams in Mountain, but then Pacific. So we covered three time zones. You'll be able to uh, watch a football game. You can watch a, a top tier football game from the conference at every point of the day. And they not butt heads with each other. So it's crazy. The logistics of that probably going to be a nightmare. But, you know, that's why those people get paid so much money to do what they do. I don't get paid that money. I'm just a fan and I have this irrational 
love for these teams that care or know nothing about me, that my whole day is messed up. I was at work when Ohio State lost, and I'm sorry, the Ohio State lost to Georgia. And it was the beginning of the shift. I worked 12 hour shifts. So it was about an hour, hour and a half or something like that into the shift. Man, <laughs> the rest of my day, especially how they lost. Had we just been getting blown out the water the whole time, I would have got over it real quick. I really would have. But the fact that, <laughs> I mean, he just, he pushed it. He pushed it wide left. Look, Jerry, I bet you won't show your face on here, though, Jerry, talking all that trash. It was a sunny day. <laughs> it wasn't sunny. It was it was nighttime. It was a, a premier top game of the the week. They don't put those games out when the sun is shining, sir. But uh Reggie, who you got for uh I don't know if you're still watching, who you got for um for college? <clears throat> I feel like you have one, I but I forgot who it was. Jerry, I see you ain't saying nothing about the uh, the Patriots because Tom Brady's not. Now you don't like the Patriots no more. See, it's hard to prove, and it, I'm not coming at you, but it's hard to prove who a, who a bandwagon fan of the Patriots because hell, a lot of them, a lot of people, Tom Brady's just played for the Patriots for the the whole memory of of them watching football, so. But we know who left. I don't see all these people, you know, saying everything that they were saying. But I mean, they're they're not as good. I, although Mac Jones looked like he can, he could do something if you know Belichick could get out of his own way. Belichick was getting too full of himself having uh, what was it, Matt Patricia, a defensive coordinator, uh, running the offense that. That doesn't make sense at all. I mean, I know he's a he's still a, a a very knowledgeable person in football, so it's not like he. But he's not. That's not his specialty. So there was no reason why that man should have been running the offense. What teams we got? Uh, <clears throat> obviously we got the hot teams. The um, NFL wise, you got, you know. Mahomes and the Chiefs. Uh, AFC AFC is uh, deep. AFC heavy. They real heavy. So that's why I like being in the, the NFC right now. <laughs> we we uh, I, I have more faith in Brock Purdy. I have a lot more faith in Brock Purdy than uh, Garoppolo. Even though he pulled a Garoppolo by just getting injured. Even though that's a football thing to, to happen. But I liked it. It was exciting. Uh, the team all believed in them. It, 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 they all bought into that. So that worked. We're still trying to um, <clears throat> figure out who our starter is for the uh, Buckeyes. Like, last I looked, it was still, I mean, it's leaning one way, but it still seemed like it's heated. It's like a heated race. So we'll see how that's going. Um, if you just tuned in or if you're tuning in or whatever, I asked the question, um, <clears throat> who was your team for college and NFL? Obviously, you know, these are my teams back here. So, and I'm I'm big on it. I'm more, <clears throat> I'm, I'm bang, bang, 90 game, but at the Buckeyes, Buckeyes, that's been since birth. That's been since birth. Like I, I know I wouldn't watch football, but I mean I was born and I'm I'm from from Ohio, born and raised. And I, that's that's just my team. Like, and it's crazy they they literally do that. They mess up my day when they lose. It messes up my day. And now since the season's about to start, now <clears throat> I gotta call that team. I usually put it in lowercase. So this is what I, I usually uh call 
this certain uh team right here. TTUN. Who know what that stands for? TTUN. Now season started. So start now. I I I make it a practice that I do not say their name. Off season, I'll say their name. I mean, it's it's, it's actually just a state, but when I use it in reference to that team, I only could say that team up north. Or if I'm if I'm texting or writing a message or posting something, TTUN. In lowercase. I got a lot of cousins that like them too. But you know, we don't all make good decisions in life, so it's it's understandable. What? Jordan. You see at least two L's. So <clears throat> one of them you talk about that team up north. Who you got for the other one? Cause that's surprising. That that's surprising coming from you, man. Cause you're usually as delusional as I am when it comes to the Buckeyes. I'm very delusional. Like, like I said, they 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 mess up my day if things don't go right. And I it shouldn't. I'm a I'm a I'm a grown man. I shouldn't let men running around in tight pants and pads and hitting each other and with commentators making a uh, very uh <clears throat> very questionable comments because of the names of the positions but qb situation yep and that's crazy man i i, I don't really want to make this comment but i i'll whatever i haven't seen a we've been having black quarterbacks for over a decade now i just it's weird. I ain't saying nothing is wrong with having a white quarterback. Most definitely not. It definitely, I mean, Stetson Bennett is a white quarterback. You can win. They're a great white quarterback. It's just was weird, you know, just seeing that. There was nothing wrong with it, but it's just weird seeing that. In our quarterback situation, usually we 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 usually do did have an heir already. Like that heir was there already. That person coming in was already there, already playing behind. The uh, the other quarterback, and you knew, like this this guy, like even CJ Stroud, you knew that was who's coming next. You know what I mean? So I am nervous about that. I'm hoping that you know we can we can overcome that, especially early on. Obviously, we got to go. We got to go play that last game now. It would have been even better had that kick went in and then we went on and was able to beat TCU. But <clears throat> we need it because I got the cousins and then it's, it's the people who really, you know, like to talk to trash. Ah, But we, we literally last year, well, not like last football year, not this one that just passed, was the first year in two of my kids' lives. My kids, up until that point, two of my kids – and they're double digit ages. Had not lived in the world where that team up north had beat Ohio State. They had not lived in that world. It's, it's just new to them. It is new. They don't care about football, the girls. But you know what I mean? Like, like we've been kicking them up all up and down the street, molly whopping them. Not every time molly whopping, but I mean, it just it wasn't even like. The, the the being able to call it one of the greatest rivalries in 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 sports, it was losing that juice. Like y'all needed that. Y'all needed that for it to even mean something. So we need that, and it would have been great. Like it would have been the greatest thing ever <laughs> that y'all y'all beat us, and then we go on to win the national championship. That would have been the greatest thing ever. But obviously, that didn't happen. Everybody thought that it was going to be y'all and uh, 
Georgia, but unfortunately you couldn't get past a Big 12 TCU. Ugh. I know we ain't get past y'all. It was some questionable play calling up in that game, too, that we played, y'all. Like, I didn't um, – I don't know. It was, it was like we was playing real conservative, real like, like giving a lot, like, like Ben don't break, but we was breaking because we was letting some stuff go that like, it just it was just real uncharacteristic. And it wasn't like y'all was like overpowering us to do that. But we play at y'all house this year, and. We hope we could just, uh, you know, we gave you all a few. You got a few. Let's bring it on back. But we do need to uh, fix that. That We do need to get that QB situation um, handled as quickly as possible. I know they're going to – we got we got the, the cream puff game. Everybody do. So it ain't like we the only ones, but we need to get that handled. That way we can uh, – see who's going to emerge at the top right, what i'm gonna do if anybody wants to come on go ahead and post uh post it the uh the guest link again if you want to come on if, if you even if you're on the phone you can come on no problem just talking football because i'm excited this the this is the lowest my blood pressure gonna be for for four or five months. So I just gotta. This is my last woo sigh. I'm excited. I do have two fantasy drafts coming up. I won. I won one of my leagues last year. Actually, I've been in that league for a long time. Like I've known these people for over twenty years. I was in the army with. A lot of them, and uh, that was at my first duty station, and uh, that was in two thousand and two. Yeah, so it's been over two decades that I've known most of these people. But it's my first year actually winning the league, and it was my first year. Well, this is my second year in the other league, and it was my second year in a, a, a PPR league. I mean, nobody knows what PPR is up. People who don't know it's a point per reception. You got to draft a little bit different with that. So I did, uh, you know, it's a little bit better. Hopefully I can get the players that I want. Hopefully I can make a deep run. You know, uh, like a football thing when they say the questionable things. Hopefully I can penetrate deep, get some deep penetration. <laughs> Y'all, there's some people, some people who, and I feel sorry for them, that, you know, they don't like football, whatever. Let me, uh, I see, I got uh, Jordan right here. Um, How do I feel about the Pac-12, the four teams come to the Big Ten? I, I'm good with it. I'm good with it because... The 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 sport kind of need this. I know some people think it's bringing some value. It's bringing the value down, but like I said earlier, with the expanded playoffs, hell, you can still get those other those other teams shouldn't be mad. Like the teams getting left behind in the Big Twelve, and the teams getting left behind in the Pac Twelve. And I don't know if anybody wants the ACC, but you know those teams getting automatic bids when they're normally wouldn't even be able to sniff the playoffs. But, you know, it's probably going to be – it's going to be a little heavy with 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 Big Ten and SEC teams. You'll probably have, like, some, you know, some some teams that are just, just mainstays. It's just got a, a, a spot with their name written on it, that playoff position. That's your Ohio State's. That's that team up north. That's – um. You know Penn State when they when they doing their stuff right and everything. And then you got you got uh, Michigan State. I can say Michigan State by the way. So if you hear me say that, I can say Michigan State. That's that state got to come real quickly after I say the first word. Um, 
And then, uh, you know, in the, the S in the SEC, you got those teams that are mainstays, your Alabamas, your, your Georgias, um, your Auburns when they're doing their thing, your LSUs. So I feel like it could be good for the sport as long as they 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 work it right. And, you know, like, like I said earlier about that, it's going to be a logistic. I'm glad it's somebody other than me handle, handling those logistics of the games and just how they're going to. But, you know, all this thing, this stuff is about money, man. It's it's money. It's that TV money. That's what it is. TV money. I see you, Brav. Raven Nation and Rosa. I always want to ask you. Ravens and Rosa, like I got a reason for mine. You know, these two teams are completely different. One of the best players on this team actually came from here. Number 97. Bosa, but um, I see you, man. Y'all got a uh, yeah, Bama. Hey, <laughs> Georgia, the, Georgia that came in y'all came in uh the house and it's like the son. Now nah, he he like nah nah pops, you old pops. I'm running this now. Although I did see uh Georgia's quarterback dude and. Granted, I, I didn't see it was a picture of him, but he didn't look too uh, too intimidating. But you know, with with the SEC teams, they they, they get a lot of work done, which Alabama, like Georgia, or whatever, in them trenches. That's what that's what separates the the teams that's gonna make to the playoffs, gonna be ranked high at the end of the year, is those trenches. And if you ain't got it up there. You ain't got nothing because then you got you got a lot of the teams that are, are playing each other are it's it's a lot of teams playing against teams that they are super overmatched against. So if those trenches are getting won, that if that quarterback, if that quarterback is uh getting all that time to throw to like Ohio, Ohio State or Marvin Harrison and stuff like that, I mean if a good quarterback is getting time to throw, they're going to make them throws. I, not Bradford. So, yeah, I did know that you're from Bama. Right. And brother following Ray Lewis and have always been a Ravens fan. Bet, bet, bet. I just like to hear the story of, you know, people and how they, they like their teams, why they like that. Unless you just – and I know Alabama, y'all don't have a professional football team. And we have two, but – Hell, the the Cincinnati is like good now. They got your boy old Joe Burrow, cool Joe. And I'm not gonna claim Joe Burrow. I'm gonna let Joe Burrow be claimed by LSU. Although he did grad, he graduated from Ohio State. He graduated from there. That's where his his uh degree is at. But he he that room, that quarterback room was stacked. If Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow didn't didn't wasn't able to make the cut, that room was stacked though. So Cincinnati, Kentucky. Are you saying uh cause are you saying that uh Cincinnati is basically in Kentucky? Because I know it's a lot of uh it's a lot of Kentucky people that do like the Bengals that I know of because you know they don't they don't have a team. Um I've I've never been I, I hated the uh the Browns. I hated their their uniforms. It's just ugly. Like I don't like I don't want any clothing item brown. I hate it wearing brown t shirts and them brown underwear and basic training when I was in the army. Like, why are you gonna make my my underwear brown? Like that's just so I won't I won't I'll feel better about myself if something happening down there, or whatever, when I'm in the field or whatever. Right, what you got, man? No pro team. Dad has always been a Dolphins fan, but they didn't really care for the fans. Jags, Saints, Falcons, Titans, or Panthers. 
got in the NFL. My brother watching the Ravens, and that defense is always pumping me up. Hey, man, Ray Lewis, that dude, I seen a thing one time with uh, Ray Lewis. Um, I think they were playing, I think they were playing uh, the Bengals. It was with uh, Chad Ochocinco. <laughs> he tried to, uh, he tried to, um, to basically like blindside block Ray Lewis, and like Ray Lewis, like was literally just like a wall, and and Ocho Cinco just ha, and he was shook up, and Ray Lewis, like it, Ray Lewis didn't even didn't even realize, like he he wasn't even trying to hit Chad Ocho Cinco, and and, and he, it was like he just ran into a wall. You de- you definitely right, man. Ed Reed. Ed Reed. Ed Reed actually said, I saw a thing where Ed Reed was like uh one of the people that he would not want to hit him. There was they was putting up like they had put up two uh two linebackers or whatever. And he was like one person that he would not want to hit him is definitely uh your boy uh Ray Lewis. Oh yeah, that's what it was. You saw that? They had him mic'd up. He was like, Yeah. He said he tried to take him. Hey, he he tried too. He tried. And Ray Lewis, Ray Lewis wasn't even looking. <laughs> oh, that was that was horrible though. It was funny though. It was funny, man. Man, football. And it, the another thing about football, like, okay, first of all, like I was saying, um, they don't play that many games. Every game, every single game really matters. Every single game really matters. You ain't got the NBA with 82 games, uh, Major League Baseball with 162 games. I think hockey got like 80, 82 games, or something like that. I mean, that's a lot of games. Especially, I don't know how they do it in hockey either. Hockey, you playing such a physical sport. And and <laughs> you playing eighty two of them? Nah. Oh man, I ain't Bradford. Well, you know, I'm sure she's a very nice lady, man. And you can't put that word up on here. You got it on my screen. Got to clean my screen off now. We don't do all that. We don't do that around here. But it's like a uh, my boy Chadwick Bozeman. We don't we don't do that here. <laughs> you got. I didn't know a lot of people from Ohio that are Cincinnati Bengals fans, but I know a lot of people outside Ohio that love the Bengals. I do, and a lot of people um like around my like in my family around my family they're not they're not Bengals or Browns fans. A lot of them are are Steelers fans. A lot of them like Steelers. And, you know, it's whatever. I mean, we both of us left the state, one of the few states to have multiple teams, and we left the state to go to another team. So, how many states? Somebody give me that number. Oh. Don, what's up, man? Miss you, my boy. Miss you, man. Hope you uh you doing good out where you at, man. Um. I don't know how y'all. I don't know how y'all quarterback situation looking for uh, the cats, man. If y'all don't know, I I, I actually live in Tennessee, but I have uh, I work in Kentucky, so I know a lot of uh, Kentucky fans. Which you know they they got rolling a little bit at a point in time, and then they start feeling themselves. Had that that one dude. That I think he's like a wide receiver playing quarterback. Then they got a real quarterback. That's the dude that he put mayo in his. He do something weird. He do something weird. I forgot, but yeah, yeah. You got a uh, old Schittsburg having a uh, <laughs> love having that rivalry. Yeah, that, it's a good one. Um. I don't know what y'all think about that that uh quarterback man uh they sit their whole situation. I don't know. Justin Fields 
What do you say? He put mayo on his sandwich. Yeah. He don't put mayo on his sandwiches. He do something else. Dalton. Hey. So in that draft, man, I was so that I was so mad because we picked Trey Lance. I had never heard of Trey Lance before. Because at the end of that season, you had, and if if y'all actually watch watch those games, those those two playoff games that the uh the Clemson and Ohio State played, really Justin Fields outplayed Trevor Lawrence, both of them. And then that's that last one, Justin Field came back after getting getting speared in the, the, the ribs, came back through that through that Darto Lave. I mean, we 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 outplayed them. So even okay, people kept oh Trevor Lawrence is a generational talent. He's a generational talent. I got you. He's I mean he is good. He and, and we'll see what he could do with the Jacks. But so those are the two names. Then all of a sudden, all these other names start coming up. Like whoa, wait a second. Justin Fields has literally been number one, number two, one A, one B for. Two years of his college, his when he started in college football, and now all of a sudden, then you're gonna go find Trey Lance. Now I look when I start hearing that name. When I start hearing that name, I I was like, I gotta go to YouTube. And I was not sold on that dude because all he had was he he was a he had a highlight reel. And of course. Even Patrick Mahomes has a highlight reel, but that's all it showed. It didn't show no little, no tight window passes. It didn't show no going through progressions. I, oh, I forgot who he played for. Somebody tell me who he played for, Trey Lance. But all this stuff, he's throwing bombs to wide open receivers. You know how hard it is to get a yard of separation. That is the hardest. The best wide receivers are the ones that can get a half to a full yard. That's one and a half to three feet of space. That's what the best receivers in the NFL are able to do. I don't care. Every quarterback that's even – in a division one school should be able to throw to a wide open down the field wide receiver. That doesn't impress me. I want to see you, 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 you going through your reads, having to come back through your reads again, hitting that player that actually, you know, got some type of separation and you went right, right back through. They just running a dude on the street that is a track star for the dang on college and just so happy to catch a little bit. If he's not guarded, I don't know. I don't even know who the players he was throwing to, but that's all that was, man. And now he's on a bed. And I don't even know if he's after um uh Sam Darnold. I don't even know where he's at on that 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 um depth chart. I'm I'm thinking he's probably number three on that depth chart. Jordan. Titans and, and Bucks. Oh, yeah, I knew that about you. I knew that about you. It makes sense. I know why you are too. So that makes sense. What you got? When these college QBs can't throw through the window and read coverage, backyard QBs. And you know, that's that's just highlight real stuff. And you able to do that because a lot of times those type of quarterbacks can do very well. They can do very well. Uh, what's your boy, Johnny, Johnny Manziel? He did very well with that because he was. I mean, some some of the teams he's playing, he was overmatched. Yeah, he they they beat Alabama, but you know, caught him off guard. That's what you got to do sometimes. We won our first championship. I think we caught them off guard. Plus, your boy Zeke was just tearing their ass up. But that's what it is, backyard. You you ain't getting away with a lot of that in no dang on. You got uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, maybe three Mississippi to get that ball out of there. There you go, Jerry. Yeah, North Dakota State. That's why we 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 draft, we got we jumped all the way up to to get this guy from North. And he didn't even start. He didn't even start like that last year because of COVID or something like that. 
<laughs> I was like, what is it? I think sometimes these coaches be like, be, you know, feeling themselves a lot. And I know most big college QBs really don't quite, aren't quite the best. But, I mean, we do got a um, <clears> – <throat> Because Mahomes, Mahomes, what, what, Texas Tech or whatever. But you got you got uh, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts is that comeback story, one of the greatest ones to me. He won never no 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 poop but old QB, but he had a series of unfortunate events. And the man, I mean, he he came back when he when he transferred to uh, Oklahoma, and then he came, he uh, did his thing and emerged gotten better every year and i mean he's he's part of the the elite qbs i mean you talk about Mahomes, you talk about a uh, burrow you would talk about um jalen hurts that boy good and i mean it, it wasn't a blowout in a, in a the super bowl like that that game that game was decided at the end it didn't, it didn't take, I mean, it wasn't like they were just, he was just getting outplayed. Mahomes is, it's, it's Mahomes. There's a big space. Then there's Joe Burrow. I won't say it's a big space, but there's a gap. That gap between Mahomes and Joe Burrow is bigger than the gap between Burrow and the number five quarterback. Like all together. So, but yeah, um, I really got much else. Just talking. I'm excited, man. I love football. Love football. I know I shouldn't say that I love a thing that's in that minute, blah, blah. I, I love football. I'm allowed to. It brings me joy. And it's not like I'm doing nothing. It's, I, I don't love killing people. I don't love doing drugs. I don't love being an a asshole. I love football. Brings me joy. They're the ones out there hurting each other. I'm just watching it. So, But if nothing else, I really, really, really thank everybody who came. Listen for a second. Commented. You know, contributed to this. I appreciate you. And, again, thanks for watching. The FO Show. Peace.